You asked for it, it's the return of grandma. My grandma is, well, grandma's a legend, right? She comes from a small town just outside of Busan in South Korea, came to the States a very long time ago, raised two kids, and at one point even opened a restaurant in New York. Today, she's gonna show us how to make one of my favorites, a dish that I grew up on, a crazy looking black bean noodle dish called jajamyeon. Without further ado, let's go pick up grandma. Mm -mm -mm. Off to secure the VIP. Who dare calls me? Grandma. Hey, grandma. I'm on my way, I'm about, ten, I'm about 10 minutes away. Before we can cook, we need to scoop grandma at her apartment, then head over to the Korean market. Nice to meet you. Thank you so much. There's a Mike Dyson over here. Oh, do you grow stuff over there? Yeah. What do you guys grow, like herbs and stuff? Lettuce? Sesame uh, leaves and... Uh, oh, sesame leaves? Uh, cucumber and uh, chili pepper. I basically live in grocery stores of all types, especially Asian ones, so when my grandma showed me a Korean market that I didn't know existed, and in my neighborhood nonetheless, I was pleasantly surprised. I had no idea this was here. It's insane. <laughs> this is blowing my mind. Okay, I'm a secret market. Mm -hmm. Thumbnail yeah, this title. is huge. After a few minutes of cruising the market, we were on to the final ingredient, the noodles, before we were stopped by a manager who thought that we were filming tape for a rival grocery store. Lucky for us, Grandma was there to save the day. Uh, oh yeah, we're filming a show. Doing a yeah. video. After dodging hard time in the grocery store jailhouse, we shuttled the VIP back to my apartment to begin cooking. Three things you need to know about cooking with grandma. One, grandma will not wait for your drag ass. She will begin prepping ingredients as soon as she enters the premises, regardless of when you can get the camera set up. Two, grandma always cooks to feed a platoon, so expect leftovers. Lastly, in true grandma fashion, she does not measure a thing, which, you know, complicates things for me, but don't worry, I got you. What up guys, we're back with our specialist of <laughs> special guests, grandma, back at it again. We're gonna make jajamyeon today, which is a black bean, kind of like a, like a gooey pork vegetable dish. It's really good. She makes it great, so she's gonna teach us how to do it. The master is here, let's get after it. <laughs> you want me to get this hot? Yeah. Okay. She starts by adding about a quarter cup of neutral oil to a hot wok and immediately throws in chopped scallions and garlic. We're doing this on the home range, which isn't the most powerful, but gradually the, pa the pan is gonna get hotter and hotter, so. We'll be good. <laughs> she stir fries that for about a minute, then adds the diced pork bits in and cooks those for a couple more minutes, just until lightly browned. She then pushes the pork and scallions aside and reaches for the black bean paste, spooning about a cup of it into the hot oil. Would this be considered like a jang, like a paste? Yeah. yeah. It's yeah. A jang, like in the jang family? Yeah, that's like <laughs> gochujang. Yeah, yeah. Sam yeah. Sam jang. Sam jang. Jang. Black bean jang, yeah. She mixes the paste into the hot oil to loosen it up and make it more aromatic. Then into the wok, it's two onions, one small zucchini, and half a cabbage roughly diced, along with a pinch of salt and water. About a gram of measurements worth of water. That looked like a half cup or so to me. And now we just stir that all around and let the veggies cook down for a few minutes. Smells really good. Maybe I got coffee at this time. I don't have any smell. You don't smell that? <laughs> <laughs> and with a little black pep and salt to taste. You know, lots of Chinese people, they come into the boat, yeah? Uh -huh. Come into Incheon. They're cooking and Korean people tasting, it's uh -huh. good. Yeah. So, for after that, we copy for them, you know? It's, right. So it's, this is this is Korean Chinese food. Yeah. To, it's safe to say. Then, without any warning, Grandma reaches for the shrimp and tosses a couple small handfuls in. I'd say around a half pound by the looks of it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we need a bigger wok. <laughs> Oh, I no. didn't want to make it just much, you know. <laughs> <laughs> well, with, with you, Grandma, we always make uh, enough to feed an army, which is uh, appreciated. Wait, check this out, Grandma. Can I do something really quick? We were having some trouble getting the wok super hot, so I removed the top plate of my range to reveal the jet stream of fire that it contains. And doing so allows the flames to wrap around the entire wok, which gets it really hot, something I should have done from the start, probably. Be careful if you want to try this. We probably have different stoves, so research your equipment and please be safe. After simmering, taste the sauce and adjust seasoning if need be. Grandma thinks it needed a little something extra, so she's adding more bean paste. Then make a slurry, aka thickener, by mixing together equal parts water to potato starch, about two tablespoons each. Pour that over the top and let the whole thing come up to a simmer. If the mixture looks a little dry, go ahead and add more water. It is special. Special? special? Yeah, because uh, we were a young time, no money. 
It's a Jajangmyeon is a, it's a very best when you graduate, then they buy you a Jajangmyeon. <laughs> Graduation Jajangmyeon, yeah. heck yeah. Uh, nowadays, the kids and whatever, they all like in the Jajangmyeon. Grandma prefers store-bought noodles for Jajangmyeon, so this is the brand that she bought. She actually says it's for Jajangmyeon. Now, we're making jajangmyeon, myeon meaning noodles, but you could also totally make jajang bap, bap meaning rice. Simply make yourself a pot of white rice, then spoon the sauce over it. Once the mixture has simmered for 10 minutes or so, cut the heat and get ready to serve up. You're going for a sauce that sort of goops off the spoon rather than dripping, right? You want it thick, but not too, too thick. Eating jajangmyeon reminds me of dinners at my dad's house with my dad, stepmom, and bro. My dad would drive to a nearby spot to pick up the noodles and a few other things. We'd all sit at the table, open up our individual styrofoam boxes, and mix the sticky black sauce into the chunky nudes. Grandma says that the Chinese restaurants in Korea serve jajangmyeon with white onion, Korean pickled radish, which is that yellow stuff over there, and more black bean paste for dipping. Top the whole shadidli with thinly sliced cucumber, and it's time to eat. All right, cool. So we have it finished up here. We got the noodles with the jajangmyeon, and then the uh, well, the whole thing is, and then you mix all of it. Yes. All right, here. Show us how it's done, Grams. And then we got the accoutrement, which is the uh, the onion, more of the black bean paste, and the uh, the yellow Korean radish. That's how they do it. You said at the Chinese restaurants, Grandma. Yeah, Chinese restaurants. Oh, very important. Adult Wait. adult apple juice, TM. What Sponsor is it? me height. Beer? Yeah. Everybody needs beer with with uh <laughs> okay, with Josh. Should we try it? Yeah. Alright, will you try it with me? Yeah, try. I mean, a little bit. Just a tiny bit? Yeah. Okay. Okay, eat. Eat? Mm. <laughs> More of that? Mm. It's really good. The crisp, the onions like crispy. Yeah. That's good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then do I do you do the mm. same thing with that? Yeah. Well, you try, you try now. Uh, try the the fruits of your labor. I don't wanna eat right now. Oh, uh, it's a little bit. Like you gotta try what you made, right? Mm -hmm. It's really good. The pork is really good. In there. All right. Well, Grandma, thank you so much for coming in and, and, and teaching us the ways yeah. of the jajangmyeon and the the Korean radish and the onion. Uh, cheers. Until next time, and I think we're gonna make oh. those ribs next time because they're insane. You like it? <laughs> <laughs> All right. I love it. Cool. Bye. How do you say bye, green? How do you say bye, green? <laughs> 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 Are you serious? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh, sweet. All right. Peace, guys. Come on, everybody. And it wouldn't be a grandma meal if she didn't portion out jumbo bowls for each and every person in the room. Big shouts to Helmoni for coming over to my apartment and cooking with me on her day off nonetheless. What a beast. Thank you, Grandma. Honestly, this video would go on like 25 minutes more if I went into detail about my grandma. She's uh, quite the character. Thank you so, so much for watching. If you dug the video, please subscribe to the channel if you're new here, that is. More Grandma is sure to come. I know you guys like these videos and she loves making them too, which is awesome and hilarious, so heck yeah. I will see you guys next time, so. Annyeong.